Hello everyone. So I'm Sikandar Sheikh, certified in CCIA routing switching and service portal. So probably in this video, I'm going to uh, walk through with some overview on the CCNA syllabus, which is updated from CCNA 200, 120 to 200, 125. So probably I'm going to walk through with some of the contents and the details and overview of the Cisco certifications and the contents. Uh, contents as per the Cisco Cisco site as well as the updated workbooks which I'll be sharing and also the the video access which we'll be providing online on udemy.com so first thing let's get started with an overview of the CCNA 200 120 exam like you may already have an idea about the CCNA which which is still a current version I can say and the last date for testing this examination is going to be 200 120 and this uh, version almost three years before when Cisco uh, changed from 640802 to 200 120. So when I released my videos uh, first time. So this this version is going to expire on to 2000, uh, 2016 August 20. So I'm not going to get into details of all the examination certification and all those things as I, I will be covering those things in a separate uh, video. But in this video, my main uh, discussion will be only on the slight changes in the versions from 200, uh, 120 to 200, 125. And then the, in the details about the workbook and the video access, which we'll be providing for the updated syllabus. Now for the current CCNA syllabus, which will be updated in the next month, probably 200, 125 the CCNA syllabus the overall it's the same thing just the name has been changed and if you click on this review exam topics probably you'll find uh, much more details on the contents here so it takes you to the learning website so either you can download this the complete content in a PDF format so if, if you get into show details probably you'll find much more detailed options here so overall you have around six sections, six to seven sections here. Uh, the network fundamentals majorly deals with the basic networking topics, like talking about your OSI and the TCP IP models. And it, it's going to be the same thing what we have covered in the previous syllabus. So additionally, you will be, you will be learning something about an overview of the wireless LAN uh, controllers devices, WLC we call it as which are typically used to control multiple access points from a centralized location. Some overview on that. And uh, the remaining all the topics, you will be covering the basics the same way, like IPv4 addressing and subnetting in that. And also you will be discussing about IPv6 addressing and the classification and different options inside the IPv6 addressing. So probably in my videos, I have covered this IPv6 separately in a separate section and also IPv4 addressing and submitting is separate in is separated in a separate sections as it's the same as what you have done in the in the previous syllabus so just an additional additional topics you will see here so when you move on to the LAN switching technologies here again here uh, most of the topics are still the same thing like understanding the layer 2 switching process how it happens understanding the concept of VLANs uh, but additionally you also need to understand something about voice VLAN uh, which is more into a VoIP network so probably you will be will be covering some introduction to this one as well and some uh, DTP VTP version to native VLANs concept RSTP which was still a part of the previous syllabus so additionally you will see some enhancements like portfast and BPDU guard which are some of the enhancements used to speed up the convergence process and to protect your switch from the spanning tree. That's what spanning tree failures, BPDU card features. So additionally, you will see something about ether channel. Ether channel um, is, is more about aggregating the multiple links between the switches. And if you're already familiar with your CCNP routing switching, you don't need to worry much about this because most of these topics if you have already gone through with my ccnp videos you you will see most of these topics covered in detail with labs so just a uh, topics uh, which are a little bit advanced has been added in the ccnp uh, ccnp to ccna and 
some of the older topics has been removed like uh, I'll, I'll discuss the topics which has been uh, removed especially in the van technologies if you move to the section 3 again the routing topics still the same ip v4 routing what you discussed like static routing default routing and in terms of dynamic routing rip version 2 which is back uh, it was not there in the previous versions but i still covered that in my previous version videos because because i i felt that it's a little bit important uh, protocol to know as a basic understanding of the dynamic routing so also covers about ospf and ehrp protocols the same thing here default routing static routing and verifying them not only in ip version 4 you need to know about ip version 6 routing options also so uh, the routing point of view i i still say can say that it's the same what you have done in the previous but again you you will see something called inter vlan routing with svi using a multi layer switch that is one additional topic has been added in the in the inter vlan routing by using a multi layer switch uh, instead of using a route round stick you can also use svi so this this part i have covered in the switching itself so probably if you see the sections the way the cisco divided the sections is uh, completely different from what i have divided because i specifically go in a different format but overall it's going to cover all the topics which are going to be tested in your cc and exams now wan technologies there is a major change if you if you know about ccna 200 120 there was a topic called vsat frame relay uh, internet connections using dsl dsl as well as cable modems so you, you no more see these topics here uh, i can say internet dsl these are little bit basic topics which every everyone knows normally frame relay is no more used in today's networks so this has been removed so i was expecting that sh should not be there in the previous syllabus as well but now it's been completely removed but additionally you will be uh, covering some additional vpn technologies like you will talk about gre implementations in the ccna uh, that's what you can see here somewhere you will see it talks about gre implementations like here you can see uh, implementing conferring verifying troubleshooting gre and apart from that, you will see some DM VPN and IPsec VPNs overview. So, which means theoretically, you will be learning uh, DM VPN technology, which is one of the commonly used technology which provides WAN connections over internet. That is VPN over internet, I can say. So, if you're already gone through with my previous versions, uh, I have given some basic overview on the VPNs in my previous version videos. But in this new version, I have updated videos with these things. Again, these are the topics which I usually covered in my CCI routing switching videos. Uh, it's like a copy paste from, from the CCI videos. But not in depth, but in CCI routing switching, you will be seeing these topics much more in depth with practical implementations. But as per the CCNA exams, you just need to have an idea, a theoretical idea about these technologies. Apart from that, you also have an overview of PPPoE, point-to-point -point over Ethernet. Like most of the broadband connections nowadays, they use this PPPoE. You will be seeing some overview on this as well. You can see broadband PPPoE. You just see describe. Describe uh, terms refers, just you need to have a theoretical idea. So when you say configure, verify, troubleshoot means you need to have an understanding with, uh, with implementations as well. Uh, apart from that you will see this section is completely a new one hit this one it's a quality of service so most of the people uh, may have heard about quality of service probably uh, it's a topic which is normally covered in the advanced uh, advanced classes either in the cci routing switching or if you're going to any voice implementations you will see those topics but again in ccna you will be discuss we will be discussing about quality of service introduction again it says describe means theoretically you will be uh, will be talking about some qs mechanisms which are used for giving priority for your voice or video traffic again i'm not getting in details of this just an overview but if you if you go back to my videos we do have uh, those topics covered here so probably i have already already done with updating these videos on the udemy.com and it's a free 
course you can access online so already I have uh, more than 50 60,000 students accessing this course here and the contents has been updated in different sections okay so let me show you these options here most likely I think it's it's still in the IP services module you can see here um, there are some topics here you can see QS introduction and QS mechanisms overview on those particular topics and then finally in the inside this services you will see about the DNS lookup how it happens and configuring and verifying a DHCP server so if you already know DHCP how it works in the Microsoft or the Linux operating systems here we are going to see how we can make a router as a DHCP server and verifications also about basic HSRP implementations in the previous versions uh, HSRP was just covered theoretically but here you will see some basic implementations by changing these values and also you'll see the NAT implementations almost same and then verifying NTP network time protocol for synchronizing the time so these are additional topics you will see here and in the inside this uh, infrastructure security you will see some new topics like DHCP snooping feature preventing an unauthorized DHCP server entering into the network uh, apart from that ACLs port security uh, these are all options are still the same thing again again securing the login attempts by using uh, triple uh, this again you will see overview on this for login authentications how we can use an external servers again those things are added in the videos and then finally some infrastructure management where an overview about SNMP protocol logging licensing and some other options here span span feature also is added here probably th these are the topics like you will see in the new CCNA routing switching syllabus and then finally all these uh, videos probably you will be provided access to these videos on udemy.com probably if you already gone through with my videos you'll see I, I have already updated the content for for all these topics on udemy.com so you can see they are divided into different sections in the span entry but you will see these topics added in between depending upon the relevant sections and you can access this course online on udemy.com and also you will be finding some workbook here probably on our website probably can find in the workbook section you can you can see the links so I think still the links are not updated on the uh, in in the website still but you will be see this you'll see this as 200 125 in the future in the next couple of days so where you can download the workbook and uh, I, I remember that it's around 617 pages previously it was 500 some some change pages over there so based on adding the topics and in this work in this workbook you will find all the slides whatever I have used in the classes along with the labs uh, documented in that so most of these labs again you can pack packet packet tracer option you can use and there are some specific labs I'll be using GNS3 for for implementing and verifications so if you already uh, anyway in how to use packet tracer that anyway I have covered that if you want some reference to GNS3 you can either refer my CCNP route videos or, or get into our YouTube channel probably you can find all those all those informations over there and most likely again you will see all these topics again updated in our YouTube channel with a separate playlist so either you can access the videos on udemy.com or, or on the YouTube channel again